everybody welcome back to about the popcorn thank you for clicking on this video if you guys are new my name is stephanie today we're gonna be talking about netflix's new film the two popes moving in directions i can no longer condone i've struggled to do what must be done but i've lost popes can't resign if you do this, you will damage the papacy forever. So The Two Popes is rated PG-13. It is categorized as a drama comedy. I would add biopic to that. It is two hours and six minutes long, and it came out on Netflix December the 20th. Kind of what happened behind the walls to get Francis to be the next pope without the current pope being dead. How many times can I see pope in this video, you guys? Pope Vin uh, Benedict was actually the uh, one that was pope when Pope John Paul II died. He was elected. Um, nobody really liked him. He, they kept calling him a Nazi. He was German and they just called him the Nazi Pope. He wasn't very popular with the public eye. Francis became the new Pope. I was actually live streaming it. I was at work. He is a very humble person for the people. He's not flashy. Apparently they put like the Cardinals into like these nice homes, into these nice places and he's just not about that life. He stayed with his people. He stayed humble. He, when he became a Pope, they were trying to get him dressed you know to make the appearance and they were trying to give him these like really big like crosses like gold fancy crosses and they're like you got to pick one and he's like no 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 i'm good they were trying to get him this really nice you know um what is it called like not a vest i don't know the stuff that they put on no he didn't want none of that for him he's doing the job for the people mind you he didn't even want the job you guys really i'm getting ahead of myself the whole story is really kind of how he got the job we got to see a lot of the flashbacks that happened with pope francis on how he became the man that he is today this is not a movie that is going to tear down the catholic church so if you are catholic and you're a little bit hesitant about the movie there's nothing like negative about the catholic church in this film and there is some politics in here but it's not like full-on like in your face like you know you got to be catholic now none of that but if you are looking for a movie that's going to tear down the catholic church and really pinpoint more about the whole uh priest in the child molestation then i suggest you watch spotlight because that's what that whole movie is about let's go ahead and get with the performances really quickly price and hopkins do an amazing job um portraying these two characters mind you um anthony he is more very subtle very it doesn't really seem like he's acting it kind of like really seems like he's just like playing himself now i don't know if price would actually get a nomination for his performance as pope francis just because this year has been crazy with so many amazing performances especially for lead actor so i feel like he may fall a little bit short so i do want to pre-warn you this is not going to be everybody's cup of tea because it is a lot of dialect um there's no like real drama i guess the most dramatic thing that happens is when pope benedict decides that he no longer wants to be pope and he's resigning which is very unheard of apparently it had only happened once before like i don't know how many hundreds of years ago he knew that the people weren't happy with him and he was having spiritual issues where he wasn't actually hearing god anymore so if you really are one of those people that just can't handle just people talking and i mean at the end it is pretty much these two characters who you're going to be seeing on screen i mean you may have your little background uh people from time to time so this is really odd on how pope francis became pope what happened behind the scenes it's really cool how you you also get to see how all the cardinals vote for the next pope how what happens you know once they close those doors i don't think they've ever shown that before they may have i just i don't remember a movie where they've done that before let me know down below because I, I really don't remember but they show you how the whole voting process happens um so it's all very very interesting so like i said early on it is categorized as a comedy as well it's not like full-blown like comedy it has just a slight humor to it and i just love that he loves soccer uh obviously he's argentinian so it's like con argentina which is a really good team and um it's really i loved how the movie ended they have like these really nice clips when it was the world cup and it was argentina contra alemania because again benedict is uh german and also their friendship you guys i kind of completely bypassed that whole deal pope uh benedict just did not like or agreed with the pope francis beliefs he's he, he just wasn't here for it um as the movie kind of progresses and you know they you see these characters grow you see how they change i just love how their relationship kind of like blossomed i mean they bickered a lot which was part of the humor off and just to finish off my last netflix review for 2019 that movie made me cry i've cried so many times you guys i'm such a crier when it comes to films but i mean i didn't like 
full on like, oh my God. But I did shed a few tears when he did become Pope. Um, I, I was not bored. I was very entertained throughout the whole film. But again, I know it's not for everybody. So if you've seen the two Popes, let me know down below what you guys thought about it. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Or were you just not here for it at all? What did you think about the performances? That's all that I have to say about the two Popes. I do recommend for you guys to check out this film. It is on Netflix. But before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at concessions. Bye!